Patrick Joyce, they do. And this 20 page criminal complaint outlines the crime spree that prosecutors say took place over the past month. Milwaukee police say the defendants were attacking drug dealers to pay off a huge debt to a Mexican cartel. Police say a string of seemingly random Southside crimes are all connected. They say the three defendants, Marco Felipe, Rodolfo Pantojas Juarez, and Ivan Santiago, robbed, tortured, and killed to pay off a huge debt. Police say they owed money to a Mexican cartel after someone stole 15 kilos of cocaine, similar to this DEA photo. The cartel gave them two and a half months to pay up. Court documents show they came up with a plan to rob all the big drug dealers in Milwaukee. Police say it started with a home invasion on October 11th, then another eight days later. Investigators say on October 24th, the defendants shot at a parking checker and missed while they had a man tied up in their trunk trying to get his money. That man would later tell police they tried to saw off his hand and doused him in paint thinner. They allegedly told that man if they don't get more money, they were going to light him on fire. Then another shooting six days later at the dead end of South 32nd Street. Police say that the defendants shot a man four times. Court documents show it would begin the most violent 24 hour period of this entire crime spree. Later that night on October 30th, police said the defendants shot and killed Humberto Barrera Caballero at 7th and Beecher in front of his pregnant girlfriend. Hours later, they allegedly beat a man with a bat and a hammer, then shot him 10 times. And police matched bullets from the crimes and used cell phone records to link the cases. These suspects could face decades in prison if convicted on all the charges. And Milwaukee police say that this investigation is ongoing and there could be even more arrests. Live tonight in Milwaukee, Ben Wagner, WYSN 12 News.